So today's video is sort of not been done by me because I was going to do a video uh, talking once again about the trials and tribulations of Konami with all that came out in the report suggesting, you know, uh, not a very nice working environment for the workers there apparently. On top of the fact that they've announced uh, pachinko machines for Silent Hill and uh, Castlevania. Which is really good use of the franchise. But, then a video came out today from Jim Sterling. A.K.A. Jim fucking Sterling's son. And, to be honest... It's a better video than I could ever do. So that's why the link is in the description. And it's it's sort of eye-opening. The reason why I don't want to talk about it too much and I want you to watch it is because the more people view it, hopefully the more people will know about the way that their structure allegedly works because on top of all the reports that have come through Sterling has reached out to individuals who understandably have wanted to keep their identities unknown but sort of really hinting that everything that's been talked about so far in terms of the reports is sort of only the tip of the iceberg as to what happened. And the thing is, with gagging orders and all that, and with Konami being the way that they are, sometimes not allowing criticism, sometimes uh, getting rid of copyright material that isn't theirs, even if it's for the purpose of, like, review, it's, it's questionable. Their tactics... And that's why this video needs to be seen by everybody, because people, and people still are, trying to defend Konami's work and Konami's actions. The thing is, if this happened in a company that existed in the Western world, there would be lawsuits and tribunals, and the likelihood is the company that would be Konami or whatever wouldn't exist anymore. But apparently, this sort of culture is a traditional sort of thing in Japan. You know, like Bukaki and seppuku and women screaming in such a way in their porn that it seems like they're sort of being forced into doing it rather than actually enjoying it. Don't ask me why I know. I've just seen too much. I blame the Japanese. Either way, check out Jim's link. Subscribe to him. He does a video every week in which, you know, sometimes it's positive, but most of the time it's really highlighting the sort of negative stuff. Konami has been a target of his in recent months, as it has been mine. Perhaps it's been influenced by it, I'm not sure, but... It's just really a case that him and his sources can put it into much better words than I ever could. So please, check below. And remember, I'll be back next week. And uh, considering what film is coming out in the UK next week, I think... It's on Donkey Kong.